I was driving through here and I seen this available, and um, I figured this would be a good location to start a business, you know, and um, I want to do stuff for the community as well too, bring something new to, new to the community, which which was uh, was great for here, you know, everybody actually was like loved it here. In the future, I see myself having numerous of stores. Yeah, numerous of stores. I want to continue to grow. I mean, I'm a hard worker. I want to continue to grow and add other businesses elsewhere. You know, my staff very um, they real down to earth. They um, very funny. Like one now, I have a, I have a costume to bite. Right, she wants to put it on. It's a chicken costume that I bought from the franchise. It's a whole chicken costume. She wants to put it on and wear it. You know. <laughs> And she's funny. You know, her name is Nadine. She's really funny. Miss Charlie, she's the uh, she's our mother here. You know, she's really older. She's like uh, what? Miss Charlie, seven nine, seven years old. She's um, one of our main cooks here. Been here five, been here five years with me. Five years. Yeah, we do a lot of outreach with feeding the community. Yeah. Um, and I believe that he's built a family-based business, not just a community-based business. Because when the customers come in, it's just like we're family. Mm -hmm. We care about them. I like to talk about customers and you know what I mean, get a feel of them, what I can do better to, to help them and serve them, you know what I mean, to keep the, my business growing and also be productive in the community as well. You know, um, there's a lot of like, you know, I have a lot of, a lot of homeless right here that come through all the time. I need meals and stuff, I help them out, you know, and I feed them and talk to them, you know, you know they really love that. And they, they look out for me too, they protect the place, they come around and clean the place, they look around and stuff, and they, when I'm not here, they look out for me. So it pays off me. Because you want every person to experience a piece of joy, a piece of happiness while they walk in the crispy. Yeah. Not just in the flavor of the food, but in, in your personality, how you greet and how you treat. And just make sure, you know, that every every everything you put in their bag it is just as good. Yes. <laughs> so I have one guy coming all the time. He's uh, he's um he comes in all the time in a green truck. He loves the tenders, he loves the gills and liver, and he always telling jokes. His name is Mr. Ralph. I don't know the last name I called him Ralph. So he came in like a couple days ago. He's always coming in like, every other day. Um, telling jokes about, you know, chicken jokes, other jokes. But he's a really funny guy. Working with the people in Coco, um, I found out they help you. All you do is have to let them know, you know. And and that's been a great experience for me. Um, because you don't know, always know the right things to do, but when you have people in the right places and they care about you, like Mrs. Cost. Yeah, Mrs. Cost, yes, yeah. Because she cares about the community. She really does care about the community. And to know that you have people that's backing you mm -hmm. and rooting for you yes. in the city of Coco, that is, that's amazing. So Coco is the place to be. <laughs> it's the place to be 